guys. Lee Suk Min on the left in blue, Chilala, our Wing Chun favorite on the right in the red. This is going to be an awesome match. Lee Suk Min MMA, Chilala trying to be a Kung Fu purist. So here they go. Chilala is southpaw. Lee Suk Min in red with blue gloves is in um, Orthak. Ooh, Chilala with the sweep. His hands are down. He's getting cocky. Lee Suk Min. Who knows if he's a slow starter or not. Chilala blitzing in. Nice. Ooh, dude. Some Wing Chun type strikes. Double under hooks by MMA guy. Has Chilala on the ground. Chilala transitioning. Maybe looking for an arm bar. Went for the wrong arm, but it's okay. It's only 10 seconds on the ground, everyone. This is King of Dragons Championships. And hailing from Taiwan. And this is Chilala's third appearance on KOD Championship. So, the Korean MMA guy, they call him Opa. <laughs> the Opa. Ooh. Oh, Chilala over the arm of the opponent with a hook. Chilala has learned to hook. The hooking is definitely not from Wing Chun. Framing on the face there. The hooking is from Xing Yi Liu He Quan. So, I think Chilala putting some jujitsu and some Xing Yi Liu He plus Yong Chun Quan Wing Chun. He thinks he's got a complete system. Hands down, he's paying for that. So, Chilala looking for some maybe flick jabs. Oh, he slowed down a little bit. Nice, he dropped him, he dropped him. Korean guy, oh. There could have been a heel hook right there. Korean guy elects to just ground and pound. 10 seconds of ground time has saved Chilala. So far, very, very competitive match. Chilala still southpaw. Chilala, oof, his hands down, he's... Paying for it, man. Yep. Korean guy in the blue, Lee Suk Min. Korean guy in the blue gloves, Lee Suk Min is getting into rhythm. Oof, nice. Chilala knocked him down. Dude, a head clash right there. Chilala's not plumbing him into his chest area, which is interesting. I don't know why. He only halfway Muay Thai clinches him. Chilala about to get his back taken. They're sort of in this position where if Chilala doesn't maneuver correctly, he's going to get his back taken. Looks like he's okay. Nope, he's not okay. So I'll look a little lost right here. And stalled out a little bit. Oh. Yeah, Chilala doesn't really know what to do in this position. I'm surprised he didn't train this position. Uh-oh. So, ref for the save right there. And, oh, Chilala blitzing in. His other hand is too far away from his face when he's punching now. Oh, Chilala trying some Wing Chun frames. Ooh. Wow. Okay, guys. Very competitive first round. I think it's a little too close to call. If I had to give the edge, I would give it to MMA guy. And, you know, I'm accused of being a Chilala fanboy. So, even being a Chilala fanboy, I'm still saying, if you had to make me decide on a winner for the first round, I'm saying it's slight edge. Slight edge. Two MMA guy. Okay, round two. A little push kick. Ooh, a little attempt at a calf kick by Korean guy. Korean guy is look at the um, MMA guy is now trying to use his left foot. He's trying to cut off the lead foot of Chilala. Right? Someone told him to finally do that. Chilala trying more Wing Chun here. Ooh, look at that, dude. Chilala's making the Wing Chun work, but he's going to pay for it soon. One, he's going to be gassed, and two, his hands are too far from his face, man. Ooh, okay. He's got more of a collar type plum than a true plum, right? The true Muay Thai plum, you got to get the back of their head, not the neck. You got more leverage that way, at least from the up and down perspective. So... Chilala has him pinned against the cage. Uh oh, he eats a knee. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Um, Chilala was the one pinned against the cage, and the Korean MMA guy says that there was a low blow. Valuable time to rest. A few moments later. I think should be fine. We need to see a replay because I don't think it was purposeful. So, look at him. A full on, full on, just being like, I'll just rest. I'll just rest. It's 
My time to rest. A few moments later. I mean, we all wear a cup in these things, but I guess sometimes cup is enough. <laughs> so they're going to put them back in this pinned against the cage condition. Interesting. So that's pretty fair, right? Put them back in that position. Oh, someone's going to the ground, it looks like, or not. Might be a Korean guy going to the ground, man. The Korean MMA guy, Lee Suk Min. Um, Lee Suk Min, as they say in Mandarin. So, Silala has reversed it. Not bad, Silala, now with shoulder strikes. It's a little bit stalled here. If I were the ref, see, ref's counting it, right? Making sure that action's going on. Yeah, he's gonna break it if it stalls like this. That's pretty cool. That's I like this KOD rules. It keeps it a very dynamic stand-up match, primarily, right? Mixed rules MMA, as we call it. Chilala keeps getting his lead foot cut off, man. What are you doing? That's like boxing 101 or Muay Thai 101. You gotta not get your lead foot cut off. See? Our Korean MM guy, just that one little change from round one to round two. Round two, he's really cutting off because he's against the southpaw, so he's always using his left foot to circle around, cut off the lead foot of the Chilala Wing Chun guy, which is his right foot. So I don't know why the corner hasn't noticed that. You know, shout something. Yo, don't get your lead foot cut off. Right? He's in control of the pace. He's in control of the space and the angles if you get your lead foot cut off. It's not that simple, but we'll just think of it as this since we're talking so much about the lead foot. See, look at what he's doing. Oh, Chilala is two squares. Oh, that was a good punch. That was a good punch. But see, Chilala using his elbow, right? A lot of times to... Ooh, he is eating major strikes to the face, man. This is not good. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Um, MMA guy Lee Suk Min, the one with red pants and blue gloves. So Chilala with red gloves. A lot of you are like, sometimes we f can't figure out who is who. So, I am emphasizing that because I'm taking your comments to heart. So, again, red gloves, Chilala, blue gloves, but red pants is Lee Suk Min, MMA guy. So, round three, Amos is the ring girl. Let's watch some replays. Chilala definitely still in a little Wing Chun paradigm, but that was probably one of his best parts in the first round. A little sweet. A little kick to the knee area. Roundhouse kick. The issue is, Chilala keeps dropping his hands or having his other hand leave his face. And it's gonna cause some issues like that. So he just got double jabbed. MMA guy throwing uppercuts, man. He knows... This Wing Chun guy knows how to deal with hooks, unlike most Wing Chun guy. So, let's just bank on the fact that he can't deal against uppercuts. It looks like... MMA guy's claiming it's another low blow. We could change MMA guy's name to Korean pop star because he seems to have some performance skills. And not performance like MMA performance, but like acting performance skills. But we'll take this as it is because Chilala can get some rest too. So we're going to look at the replay. Let's see if this were a low blow. So around here. Oh yeah, Chilala kind of did a sidekick. It might have hit him there. So... Korean guy in full acting mode. Definitely, it was not purposeful, I guess, is what we're deciding here. See? See, Lala has these light Wing Chun strikes to the face, but they're not doing any damage to the MMA guy. Yeah, that was unintentional. Great acting by Korean guy. Sure, it hit him there, but you got a cup there. You don't have to act that much. So, whatever. You can get some rest. Look at that. He's still on the ground. A few moments later. Go back to Curry and say, look, I took on the best Wing Chun guy. And then I got kicked twice down there. And I still won, right? He could spin a story like that. A few moments later. Still going, man. Still resting. Still resting. Oh, no. Ref's giving him a deduction. Oh. Hey, it worked. It double worked, man. It double worked. Oh, Chilala got a deduction. Oh, man. Ah, uh, you should get three warnings, man. If it's purposeful, only give two warnings, right? But if it's... Korean guy is gonna headhunt now. Look at what those kicks. Chilala has learned to spin all the way around now. Oh, did you see that? He did a kung fu move, right? Another kung fu move. Chilala is 
Too square, man. Too square. It's the bad Wing Chun training. Good little throw. He's not really going to be able to finish it in 10 seconds. I can call it right now. So, yeah, unfortunately, Tsilala, red gloves, is not able to finish it on the ground. So, Tsilala is telegraphing a little too much. He's definitely a little gassed now. MMA guy has taken him down to the ground. Tsilala sort of don't know. I don't know what he's trying here. Maybe a little weird crucifix position. I don't know, but... 10 seconds of ground time doesn't matter. Silala ha still has some head movement, though. Look at his face. He's so gassed. He's probably breathing really heavy. Ooh. MMA got head hunting. Look at that. Twice trying to throw roundhouse kicks to Silala's face. Silala grabs him in kind of like a bulldog headlock. But, like, the problem with this is that easily you get your back taken like that. So, the ref is gonna make them likely get off the cage soon I'm feeling it from Chilala man hmm I know he's getting gassed and I don't like it oh that knee did not hit him so ref's gonna break it up here we go oh Chilala trying some Wing Chun right you're gassed your brain's probably a little dazed you go back to what you know which is Wing Chun and that those Wing Chun strikes are not powerful enough to do any damage, man. You see? Ooh. Oh, this is painful to watch, man. Oh, good check by Chilala. Oh, his... F Where are your hands, Chilala? Good punch, but you took like 12 punches at least to land that one punch, man. Oh, oh, more punches landed on Chilala. Chilala returning, but his hands are down. His hands are down. Oh, Chilala still with attempts at Wing Chun frames. His hands are still down. Ooh, oh, ow. This is way painful to watch. MMA guy knows he has it, man. Unless he messes up. Oh, wow. He countered Chilala's kick with a punch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wow. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. The three refs. 29 to 27. Yeah, they gave it to MMA guy. Okay. If it's 29 to 27, let's see, what does that mean? 29 to 27. So, there must have been a round that was given a draw or something like that, right? Or no, Silala was given a round. He must have been given the first round. It's just that because he lost that one point due to the two low blows, that's why he got 27. So, if he didn't lose that point, it would have been third... Uh, it would have been 29-28. I got it. I got it. So they gave one round. All three refs gave one round to Chilala and two rounds to MMA guy. And he also got that one point deducted from, unfortunately, the two low blows. Okay. Well, this was Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. There are so many matches in this. Make sure to go follow them. They're almost at 12,000 subscribers. And watch the rest of it. His arc rival, Eric, the Muay Thai guy, is also in this. So make sure to look at that. Okay, guys. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns.